Pollinators are really important because they pollinate the foods that we eat and a lot of the foods that we eat that we really enjoy are vegetables and also fruits and that type of thing and so without them our diet would be pretty bland and you'd be mainly eating pasta and bread every day. Behind me is, is an example of a pollinator garden and pollinator garden is really designed to plant different either native and wildflowers and these native and wildflowers are attractive to not only bees but also butterflies, wasps, lots of di different insects and the other point of this is to have flowers blooming throughout the entire year. Biodiversity is part of our good growth plan and biodiversity encompasses both pollinators and lots of other insects and so in order to really be successful in the world we need a lot of biodiversity, we need as much biodiversity as possible and you hear a lot of things in the news about different species of insects that are deteriorating and we really the more we can do and everybody can do this the more we can do to plant flowers the better off we are. The Operation Pollinator Program is a global Syngenta program. It was started in the UK, it's moved across Europe. It's now in the US, we've had it for about 20 plus years here. The program really focuses on creating pollinator habitat and forage in golf courses, farmland that's not being used, rights of way, lots of different places. We also work with a number of different groups such as the Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund, Project APSM and some others who are also either providing free seed for farmers and other people that are interested in planting. It's important to have a year-round mix is because you have a lot of different bees and butterflies that need food throughout the entire season. And so you want to have food for them. There's a lot of good extension, county extensions around here. And so I looked around and said, okay, what's what are the ideal flowers to plant in the Piedmont, because that's where we are, and it looks a different soil type amount of rain. And so based on that list, I went to Applewood Seed and said, this is what I'm looking for. And they'll, they'll have some substitutions if they don't have it. So that's really, so this is really designed for this part of the country. So if you were to take this mixture and plant it in California, it may not do as well because of the soil type and the annual rainfall. To learn more about Operation Pollinator, it's www.behealth.org and you can find a lot of information. We have links to a lot of other groups that we work with too, so it's not just Syngenta, but there's certainly some good information there.